Mr. James is the founder of uh, Sales Confidence and other companies, so actually I will just let him do the intro himself. Lovely. Very kind of you to come out during the World Cup. <laughs> Good effort. Yeah. I'll make it short and sweet so you can get back to it. He's already getting the live updates. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> see, on my see, phone. see if I'm you can stay focused. Phone, just to clarify. <laughs> uh, I'm, only, I'm, only, I'm only winding you up. Um, so just before I kick off into, uh, I guess, just sharing a, a little bit of my story, but also sharing you know, some key takeaways. As this is such a small group, I think it's actually valuable um, unless you already know each other. Do you just put your hand up? Do you know everybody in the room? No. Okay, that's a good starting point. Because, and just put your hand up. Um, it, did you pay a fiver to come here? Sorry? Did you pay five pounds to come here? Yes. Okay. Some people so pay. It, some people pay a hundred. Okay. <laughs> so, it, 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 like, if, if, if you get if you get twice that return, is that decent value for your time? Okay. So, if I get ten pounds of value. Do you just want ten pounds and then, you, and then you're done? Or what if you could get ten times? That's a bit better, right? You're trying to get a return the same way you're trying to get a return for your investors, and you're also trying to deliver a return for your customer base and creating leverage. So these are some of the elements that I'm going to talk about. But just you coming in or you get involved? Don't be shy. Um, so just so we can just so we can like quickly understand each other so at least you can go away knowing me but you can also go away knowing each other this is not a pitch you just do a very quick intro your, your the name the company that you run or you work for and then actually why you specifically made the effort to come tonight just to give me an idea of what I can give you back because it's important that you actually leave with some value here rather than me just talking and you can go and watch YouTube for people like that. So, starting with you, sir. All right. The Shao Jin, I'm the co-founder at Fakewick. It's a financial inclusion startup uh, trying to get access uh, to fair financial products to individuals. Uh, why I'm here is the key component in our model is an employer, because it's employer linked. Uh, and even though it's connecting individuals to ethical providers, employer acts as the key middle uh, spoke, right? So. Challenge is how to get them on board. It doesn't cost them anything, but they have fun. just good of the employees. Is it good enough? Or what else should be stressed upon to get them on board? Right? Okay. People have hidden agendas. They won't say, I don't care about employees. But obviously, we're not getting a queue cool. of people. We got it. All right. Sir? I'm Antonio. I'm here for the first time. I met um, JP and Michael a few weeks ago in Oxford. Ooh. I'm currently a student uh, at uh, Oxford University, so a business school, yeah. completing my MBA. Fantastic. And we are in process of um, creating our uh, impact um, accelerator, and uh, we have a project that will also create an impact fund. Okay. So we are. I'm here tonight to basically get to know a bit what's okay. going on, and we're planning to have some sort of collaboration with the impact funders. Cool. Hi, my name is William. I'm the intern of Micro NGP, so we are changers. Oh. And uh, I'm studying in a business school in France. So okay. I'm doing an internship. Okay. Michael Solomon, I'm a founder of Responsible 100. I give businesses a responsibility squad of 100, looking at a range of social, environmental, and ethical governance issues. What do they include? The top, top line? Uh, I can't give you a top line, give you eight categories okay. and, and really 57 eight. issues. Uh, we look at community, uh, uh, environment, finance and governance, ethical choices, human rights, marketplace ethics, technology, and of course. Okay. So tomorrow we're looking at cyber security, poor, okay, good and excellent. Uh, on Friday we're looking at mental health and well-being, very different topics, but okay. same idea. You either poor, okay, good or excellent. Is that um, enterprise have, level or long tail or small, medium sized businesses? Uh, tomorrow is hosted at Legal in General okay. and, and um, on Friday they're hosting again and there's FTSE 25s in the, in the room, but there's also small companies and stuff. Got it. Thank you. Welcome. Hi, I'm Miro. You don't want to know my surname? <laughs> uh, Share it. Papa Yanopoulou. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I work for Babuka. It's an IT company. Uh, and I came here, it's the first time I just moved in London. 
Okay. And uh, I came here for any kind of tips that will help uh, my job as a sales manager. Okay. It's one of the startup space here at Wire, right? Yes. So part yes. of the problem. Brilliant. I'm Anne Charlotte Mornington, very British sounding. I work for Olio and I do international expansion and business development. A lot of my work, uh, Olio is a food sharing app, so it helps reduce food waste locally uh, in a very massive way through partnerships and uh, going in new cities, new countries. Partnership is super important for me and part of my job, so I'm just curious to know um, any kind of tips could become useful. Great. Hi, I'm Vincent. Um, I'm a co-founder of a company called PageVamp, which automates website creation for small businesses, specifically in emerging market countries. And I am here because I met JP and Michael, and I wanted to see what they were doing. And Obviously persuasive. <laughs> you guys can go home. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Franz. Um, I'm one of the founders of the Zing PC Incubator. It's like a social startup incubator. Oh, cool. Where you build startups from scratch. And if you get them well enough. And my co is one of the advisors in the program. Right. And uh, basically what we do with our company is we're doing something called just-in-time learning. So it's about instant education on your smartphone and like it's a mix of Snapchat stories and how-to videos. So within 20 seconds, you know what to do. So any any situation, you can learn immediately what you have to do. And for us, partnerships with companies, we, for example, build products, want to share knowledge about their products, whatever, it's like hugely important. Thank you. And then I'm Stetza, hi everyone. Uh, Co-founder, CEO at Mobile um, We're a digital health platform for treating underserved chronic illnesses with mind-body medicine or behavioral medicine. Um, also created at Zinc, and for us, the challenge will be to go to market in a healthcare ecosystem that has a lot of different stakeholders, clients, insurers, doctors, mm. patients themselves, etc. And as the CEO, I'll be the kind of first salesperson, um, and I've never done. You'll be there forever. You'll we'll always be the salesperson. Let's see until they kick me out. <laughs> well, yeah, when you've sold it, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Um, so, you know, this is great. This is actually quite fun because we can be interactive. And like I said, you should each leave with some good value, even if it's just a new connection. Um, and also, if I...